mid and Bob do make that attractive, those attractive options. And Benke is going to have to really take care of Faker this game. That's right. Well, it's time. Let's see if SKT can take out Anarchy, or will it go the other way around? And we'll have an upset. Let's get in the game and find out. These hex core. They really want to yeah. kill Faker. And they might have an opportunity here. Faker, he's got to be wondering where everybody is. Oh, there we go. Faker comes in. Oh, he queued onto the minion. Still got there with the flash, though. Got the kick. Faker in a lot of trouble. Doing a lot of damage to Lyra, though. Faker, wow, nearly takes out Lyra. But first blood goes to Anarchy anyway. Oh, Lyra going in onto Bengi here. Bengi doing a little bit of counter jungling, trying to take some of these camps. And Lyra, again, you know, like you just mentioned, with that warrior enchant, not a lot of health. Snowflower having to flash on the box. Wolf, flash death sentence onto Sangyun. They get the exhaust on as well, but here comes a teleport for Anarchy. Faker roaming down. There's the equalizer. Doesn't do a whole lot. It does slow down Marin as he comes in. He's almost Meganar. Meanwhile, Mickey does get the kill onto Bengi. Oh, there's a snipe onto Snowflower. A kill for Faker, and they're going to back off after the one for one. Faker's coming back with another hex core upgrade. As it's, oh, they may lose two towers. This is a great response by Anarchy all around if a they can get it. Mickey. This is a bit dangerous. Death oh. sentence lands. Benki comes in, gets the knockup. Snowflower there to support, though, and they have to back away. Wolf now very low. Mickey picks up the kill. The charm on the Bengi as well, too, and Faker gets hit with that Q. He's not going to be able to follow that up. It's really worthwhile considering how long it stayed up. Oh, there goes the pink ward. Speed Shrine is in the favor of Anarchy. That dragon getting a little bit lower. Wolf coming in. Death Sentence doesn't hit anybody. And there's a teleport. They're going to go on to Ixu immediately. Wow, Ixu drops the Equalizer, but they still get the kill on him. Dragon taken by Anarchy. But here comes SK Telecom. Lyra a little bit on his own in the back lines of his own team. Not able to do what Lisa needs to do. Snowflower surviving with no health. Never mind. Bengi seeks out his prey for a kill there. Meanwhile, over the wall goes Mari. gets kicked back. <laughs> That uh, looks hilarious when Megan Nar gets kicked. <laughs> Looking a bit more poised, and they haven't been rattled by SK Telecom. They've traded objectives pretty well, all things considered. Yeah. Well, getting that week of practice is certainly nice. Oh, they're going to go in onto Mickey. There's a play after the knockup from the Fates. Call him Faker with an easy finish. Because you're not expecting it. There's no defenses. You were caught flat-footed if we want to talk in Dungeons & Dragons turns. Oh, Wolf caught a bit flat-footed. Saved by the fake call, though. And they're going to catch Lyra out of this as well, too. Lyra in a lot of trouble. Marin doing a good job of blocking the rest of the team. Goes Meganar. They're going to turn around. Bengi there as well. Iksu jumping onto Faker. There's a culling. Faker gets a shield, gets that with his life. And here comes Bang trying to clean up the rest of this fight. Meanwhile, Songyun slammed against the wall by Marin. And SK Telecom is going to take a pretty resounding team fight win here. Marin grabbing the double kill at the end of it, and this looks like something that you might be able to transition into a Baron. Eventually, oh, on a long enough timeline, it will result in an advantage. Oh, Wolf knows that he's got that Fates call, so he can slow people up a little bit. Equalizer goes down. Marin backing away here as well, too. Snowflower locked into the SK Telecom team. He's going to get taken out. Ixu thrown back as well. A kill for Faker comes in. Lyra has to try to escape the Chaos Storm chasing him. And SK Telecom winning an easy skirmish there. Yep. Hey, yep. could be a Sunfire Cape. You never know. The pickaxe? Sunfire Cape, Last Whisper? Yep, that's the plan. Got it. Uh, Snowflower comes in to try to make a play. I mean, Anarchy has to do something, but SKT pretty prepared. Victor with an easy kill for Faker there. And Cast Storm. Wow, there's a double kill from Faker. It's a lot of damage. Mickey trying to come in from the flank, but they spot him going back there. Faker chasing now, gets charmed. But Faker's like, all right, see ya. Goodbye. Time, Time to, to win the game. The game. Yep. <laughs> or is oh, he? Nope. The great Mickey Chase. And that's going to leave Bengi kind of on his own here. And Faker maybe should have stuck with his team. The game would be over if he had. Might still be over anyway. But <laughs> He's still chasing <laughs> Ari. <laughs> All right. This has gotten a bit silly. And now the rest of his teammates would decide, well, I guess it's time for the... Oh. 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 oh, Faker, come on. You almost had him. Even if you're in Mininar, you could just kite out of a fight. That gives you some pretty legit power. Bye. Oh, Snowflower. Gets pulverized, gets killed by Faker. Fates call, saves Wolf for now. And meanwhile, Marin running in, helping Faker pick up another kill or two. Lear on the way out, triple kill for Faker. It's not going to be the Penta. We've already got a kill for Bang. But it is going to be the end of the game as Faker... Looking for that Quadra. Nope, looking to just kill the Nexus, and that is just SK Telecom with a pretty easy win in game one. GG. And that means that Faker is what? 
19, two and six in his last two games on Victor. Wow. Might be, uh, might be ban worthy. Well, what else are you gonna leave up?